More than 130 people had to be rescued by Lancashire's lifeboat crews last year. Nationally, the RNLI had its busiest ever year, with boats being launched more than 9,000 times. It's being blamed on the recession, as more people chose to stay in this country than go abroad. Our reporter Ed Thomas spent the morning with the RNLI crew in Fleetwood. Yeah, this is William Street. It's one of the RNLI's two lifeboats here in Fleetwood. You can see the other one going past us right now. Last year, they were called out to 73 jobs. Paul, you're the coxswain here, or captain, by other words. Um, why were you so busy last year? Morning, Ed. We're not too sure, but uh, we can only assume that it's because of the current economic climate. Perhaps not so many people were going abroad as uh, as been in the past, and a lot of people are probably staying back at home and uh, a lot more leisure boat activities going on in the water. Well, that's right, it is the recession, isn't it? And I still find it so hard to believe that you're all volunteers and you can't work without donations. We are. We are all volunteers. We do it because we enjoy doing it. And we can't do it without the money from the public. Uh, and that's why this Friday, this coming Friday, is our annual SOS Day, the biggest fundraising day of the year. Anybody can help, join, have a look on the website, and uh, see what you, how you can help us. OK, cheers, Paul. One of the volunteers here is Angela. Uh, what do you do for your day job? I'm self-employed and I work locally. How difficult do you find to combine the, both of them, you know, doing your work here and working as well? Well, yeah, we, we tend to do a lot of training in our spare time. Uh, and because I work locally, it's good, because if we do get a shout, then I can get to the station quite quickly. OK, cheers. Keep up the good work, Angela. And remember, this Friday is the RNLI's SOS Day. They need all your donations so they can keep the waters here safe. That's fascinating. I was looking at my pen, but it's silver. Oh, right. go, go there you won't make anything all. for right. that, I'm afraid. Yeah. Yeah. Now, last year, more than 130 people were rescued in Lancashire's lifeboats. It's been the RNLI's busiest year ever. The reason? Well, they're uh, putting it down to the recession. Yeah, believe it or not, they say that more people are, of course, holidaying at home, which has increased the number of people getting into trouble uh, on our region's coastline. Ed Thomas has spent the day with the crew of the Fleetwood RNLI. Let me introduce you to some of the crew of Fleetwood RNLI. But remember, this isn't their day job. Can you come alongside at your uh, earliest convenience? There's Paul, the plumber. Two, yeah. Steve, the college technician. And Angela, who runs her own business in Fleetwood. Just ordinary people doing extraordinary work. Is it difficult doing this and working as well? It can be, yes, trying to balance everything out. Um, you know, we give up our own time to come down and, and, and train. The RNLI have just had their busiest year ever. The Fleetwood crew alone dealt with 73 emergencies. One reason is the recession. Perhaps not so many people were going abroad as uh, has been in the past, and a lot of people are probably staying back at home, and uh, a lot more leisure boat activities going on on the water. When you see all the equipment that they've got on these boats, it's hard to believe that all this is built on donations and most of the crew here are volunteers. And that's why in a recession, donations are needed now more than ever before. And saving lives is expensive. The RNLI needs 150 million pounds every year just to keep going. And you've got a big day on Friday, haven't you? Yeah, Friday is the biggest fundraising day of the year for the RNLI. We call it SOS Day. Anybody who wants to help or even just to donate can log on to the RNLI website and all the information is there for them. What is certain, without crews like this one, many more lives would be lost at sea. Ed Thomas, BBC Northwest Tonight, Fleetwood.